Okay, give me a sec. The thing is that I updated my presentation and I talked to David. He told me about the contents of his presentation and actually I wanted to talk about OPSEC, both for professionals and for families. Then I had to reorient it to change it, okay, so that it wouldn't overlap with uh, David's presentation. And that's the reason why. All right, so give me a sec, as I say. All right, here we go. Good. Thank you very much for coming here on a Sunday morning. It has been hard for all of us to be here. Congratulations to the first speaker this morning who just talked at the worst time uh, of the day. So this is the index of the content of my presentation. So as David said before, in your life, in your life there is information of all kinds. Everything is connected. And when I say connected, I don't mean that your phones and your computers are connected, but your life is connected to everyone around you. As David said, a metadata may lead to uh, the arrest of a person is very important because at the end of the day, even if you don't want to be visible on the internet, if you don't want your personal details to be available on the internet through your people, okay, through your friends, your personal details may be available on the internet. And let me recommend this book to you. This is about establishing correlation rules of data that may look a prior a little structure this actually takes place, okay? And this is this leads to things that, such as the things that was done by this person, and conclusions sometimes are terrifying. I highly recommend that you read that work, and this man has just uploaded a snapshot to onto Flickr. So it may seem that there are people who are not working or connected at all. So security specialists work uh, with very many specific tools. However, all these have been programmed by people with a few scripts, with uh, metadata that are publicly available and visible on the internet. So this is uh, an example of what an individual can do as long as that individual have some time. And let me highlight the some time that is also needed to do that. And let me remind you what will happen with when the, we will have with us the Internet of the Things. We are talking about 42,000 million, thousand million devices connected. Now at this point in time, we have 40.5 thousand million devices. Well, in the future, there will be sensors on your chair telling you how much you weigh, how much you are sweating, and there will be a central cent server here detecting whether someone is HIV positive, whether someone is nervous, anxious. So think about that. This is what is coming in the future through the Internet of the Things. Everything around you is connected. So the sensor that I have in my hands because of my heartbeat, my heart rate, and because of the sweat in my hand will disclose information as to my rate of anxiety. And of course, this not to make the spy that we all carry in our pocket, which is our mobile phone. And then, same as with the what we heard from Bitcoin, Bitcoin, which is uh, an anonymous coin that may bypass any government controls. Okay, we should think about that. We should also think about smart grids. We all think that smart grids will help us be more energy efficient, that we will be that we will end up paying a lower bill because we will be getting or using cheaper uh, electricity. But imagine that this could be a way of giving information about ourselves, okay? Imagine that I am a single person, uh, etc. And then it, Saturday night there is a peak of energy, okay? So uh, Sunday morning, okay, there is another peak of electricity, okay? Main one 
someone may easily think, okay, that I just had was very successful at night, last night with a girl, and then, well, I slept with her, and then the next day she took a shower at my home. All right, and Tesla, I have to give them credit, okay, they have just been a revolutionary, a revolution in the automotive industry. Okay, we should not forget that cars are for also part of the model of our society. If we change cars, you would end up changing society. So a car that is connected to the internet, that is fitted with all kinds of sensors, it will be a breakthrough. Well, what happened between Tesla and Jeep was very, very interesting. You remember that some researchers found two vulnerabilities for both these cars uh, where they could uh, stop the brakes. The difference between Tesla and Jeep Tesla, they just disclosed the parts and then the car stopped being vulnerable in five days. Whereas Jeep is still trying to recall all the cars that are being impacted. So this is very, very dangerous. Okay, we are seeing someone with the capacity to stop your car as you are driving it on the motorway. And now, this is one of the images that gave me lots of food for thought. Okay, so cars, car crash, you know, buildings, you know, police uh, cars, uh, firefighters. This might look like naive, okay, like innocence. Imagine that we move seven years ahead in time. Okay, imagine that all, everyone uh, has its devices connected, okay. These red points stand for sensors. Sensors could do the following. Everyone around have mobile phones they, and microphones. The microphones recorded the noise of the impact. Then they just broadcasted it to a big data database. Then your car just no, reported to your insurance that you were over speeding. Then all those data were given to the police in the neighborhood. So be aware of the implication of it. Before you write the report, you know who is to blame, who made, who was over speeding, uh, what speed the person was driving. The Even the floor, the motorway will have sensors and will be connected. A priori, that information may be noise to you. However, there are specialists in mining or gathering noise to know who you are, how you will behave, what are you interested in buying, whether you are an activist, whether you are a terrorist, or whether you are a good person. And now you are wearing your Fitbits and you are giving health information to a person that you don't know who this person is or where this person is and perhaps this person is sending out information to a health insurance company and you are giving him your data about your heartbeat and your health status and perhaps tomorrow you want to uh, subscribe of an insurance and they may not underwrite that insurance for you because you are too unhealthy for them. You are running with run keeper. Are you crazy? How on earth do you upload your data on the internet? Okay, do you want to go running and do you want someone waiting for you around the corner and just to hit you and to rob you? Can so Natalia Pura Vida makes the same comment to someone who has just uploaded his running trail to the network. You are a stalker's dream. Okay, you, you should not upload that information to social networks. If you search for run keeper, you will find lots and lots of information. This is a very, very interesting website. Please rob me has been there for many years. Then you just uh, enter the Facebook profile of a person and then you know when this person is not at home and actually Pedro Piqueras was robbed or had his uh, uh, someone broke into his home when he was on uh, broadcasting he was he was on air okay actors people around you who are they well first of all companies companies have been 
created of tools or instruments to do good, to save humanity from all evils, you know, to bring joy and food to your home and then to give uh, prizes and presents to children, to your children. Well, perhaps not. That is not the case. Perhaps companies have been thought of and designed by a person, a financial person who wants to make lots of money out of you and who may be uh, using or, or things, uh, doing good things or bad things. Okay, the only, the one and only objective of companies in in the world is making money, making business. All right, all those companies, many of them are internet companies, are gathering information about yourself and are using that information for whatever reason that we are not aware of. Okay, these, so sometimes this company lobby and put pressure on other companies and organizations just to include within a police umbrella uh, security experts. I never get tired of denouncing or saying that the private security law is has a lobby behind. This is a message for you professional. If you don't do anything against it, tomorrow you will be working under the command of a p police forces. Okay, so please do not waste your time and because they will continue to make money and then to enhance their loving actions they are doing. And I'm sure that many of you are getting what I'm saying right away. These are the mafia, these are the evil ones, the Russians, the Brazilian, the Koreans, the Chinese, those from Eastern Europe, those in Spain. Mafia have only one objective in life, you know, making money as well as uh, companies, but in a bad manner because they are out of the law. They can only be pursued or sought after by the law enforcement agencies. They make money out of selling your clinical history to insurance company. Then the money that they get from frauding uh, credit cards, they get it used for organized crime and from drug dealing. So if my computer is vulnerable, then this may result in having a person kidnapped in one country and sold to another country to, uh, to abuse her, okay? Mafia is there and you have to be responsible. You have to take responsibility for your security, whether you are security experts or whether you are private individuals, families. And now I have a sweet and sour relationship with intelligence agencies. I understand the function, I understand what they do, I understand that they are there or should be there because they have to enforce the constitution. However, we should control excess, excesses, okay? Too much control, excess control at the end of the day may lead to situations where we cannot even trust an angry birds. NSA is behind angry, angry birds. They were intelligence agencies getting information about the users of uh, applications such as angry birds. Angry birds. And this is also food for thought. No one should cheat you with the fear doctrine. I don't know if you know what happened in Paris. You know, they were saying all the time, they were bombarding us with information. They said that all the messages were encrypted, encrypted, encrypted. And actually, no, they were just sending out like clear messages. They were communicating each other with WhatsApp. If you are there, you are security experts. If you don't stop the tyrannosaur of, uh, of security, we will end up with no freedom, with no uh, security. So be aware of whatever is being said in your name. And I'm criticized for defending uh, the law enforcement uh, agencies and what they do. Okay, but I do so, however, that should be controlled by the citizenship. Okay, so these are very, very important actors that are there in the scenarios and in the life that we live. The law enforcement 
government agencies should only be the ones enforcing force and enforcing their competences in society, okay, because we give them, we give them the competence to do so. If they overdo it, if they overdo it in the, the well, we will have to uh, report it, but they have the power to defend us, because if we all want to defend ourselves individually, at the end of the day, the strongest will win, which is to say the mafia and the industry. Careful, careful with anonymous and this type of groups that they say that they are attacking uh, ISIS, etc. Well, this is the same as expecting everyone to carry weapons and then to take um, um, justice in their hands. All right, so other actors out there, activists. I'm fascinated with what happens in the last years where so spionage has been disclosed, okay, recently and has been debated so much. Now everyone talks about it. I can remember Echelon, in, well, everyone were it was we were clear that espionage were there okay but now everyone knows that this is real that that is happening we have all kinds of activists and everyone knows that all right so that icon of the globe and actually, well, they are wearing the mask of a Catholic terrorist. Anonymous, at the end of the day, has brought an idea to the world. I disagree with the procedures that they follow, but you as citizens have something to do in that regard so that the world where you live is, that is not as bad as it looks it will be. Then other actors, security events, specialized groups, these are some of the events that are done in Spain. I am one of the organizers of the rooted you see there with the open lock below and then other people also organize events they are committed with bringing and uh, transferring security to everyone so security should not be enclosed everyone should understand security as long as we continue to think that security can be is in the hands of hackers and and I, I, I claim myself to be a hacker, even if someone, someone doesn't like me to say that I'm a hacker. So security should not be enclosed, okay? If we want to bring it out to society and to citizenship, okay, we have to make that possible. We have to have rethink and reapproach your discourse. And careful, careful, the, there is a group, okay, on Telegram, it's your responsibility to become part of that group or not, okay? I've been kind of uh, asked to include this uh, slide. Okay, discussions are out of control and are not censored whatsoever. I argue or discuss with many of them because we have opposing views. But it is very important that you understand that everyone has to be in this security ecosystem. I refer to it as security community, okay? But, well, it is there just in case you want to do it. Have you seen the serious Mr. Robot. So what's the problem with this series with Mr. Robot? I very much dislike stereotypes. So this series talks about or shows a hacker. He's a weird man, okay? So I'm wearing a shirt. I don't know whether the rest of the hackers in the world wear shirts or just hoodie jackets. And then again, you know, stereotype. He's kind of a nerd all the time behind his computer and strange and a freak, okay? I hate the stereotypes. And all of you present here are in the security dash community dash ecosystem because you are all involved in security. Everything that someone does against or in favor security will have an impact in your life. If you stand still, if you do nothing, the world the world will get worse. 
and, as I say, mafia and companies with bad practices are interested in taking advantage of you. Notice that that finger pointing at you, okay, reflects about what you do on a better day, so to improve. Um, to improve security in the world. Well, I've been thinking about an experiment for quite some time now, which is about a platform to do money laundering. So the idea that I had was just to register 300,000 uh, Bitcoin addresses, and then, okay, and then if I manage, you know, to uh, launder your money, I get 50% margin or commission. Well, Bitcoin is one of the worst threats for the status quo, status quo model that we have today. If you do things rightly, this currency is not traceable. So there are ATMs, ATMs of for bitcoins, there is one here in central Madrid. There is no way to trace who is behind these transactions. There is not even time for the people at the treasury to research on any microtransaction. Think about that. Think about what will happen when no one can control where you can spend your money. I very much like the idea of bitcoin because it will give back privacy to some citizens. It will also open the door to mafias, but the Carta Magna, the constitutions are there. Everyone has a right to privacy, even in when it comes to economic transactions. And what is the main problem? The main problem is profiling. I had a discussion with a person who works in marketing. He was telling me that he wanted to look for a specific target with a specific sex. Um, with the purchasing habits and I said well you are not living in the same world than me okay that is obsolete you are not talking about the marketing for a demographic group you are talking about a person who knows perfectly all right who I am so it is not that Romani is between 40 and 50 years of age one of the most handsome men in Spain no they say Roman Ramirez Jimenez lives in this street because I know what the street where he lives I know how much rent or mortgage he is paying and because I know that I multiply it that by one third, which is the, the expenses that we all have. Therefore, I know how much money Roman makes at work, and then he posted, you know, photographs with naked girls. Okay, they know that I am a, a heterosexual, and because they post my comments, okay, uh, and they know that I am a, a left uh, wing person. Okay, they know my political party that I support. We are not talking about uh, typologies, we are talking about perfectly in identified individuals. And this is this does not only have an uh, impact on professionals working on OPSEC, but we are talking about your children, yourselves, okay? And that has lots and lots of connotations. Okay, this is a slide that I always use in all my presentation. This is highly, highly interesting. This is the World Economic Forum researching on the top 10 threats for humanity. And when I say humanity, I mean the human race. I don't know whether you can read it, but well, we have cyber attacks. Can you read that? Cyber attacks have been put on top of asset bubbles, social stability, terrorist attacks. Can you see where cyber attacks are placed? So nowadays, the concern about cyber attacks is making everyone revolving and taking action around that because a person with technology can do serious harm. Anyone who's got a computer has a very powerful weapon in his hand. Okay, so notice this slide again. So it is being said that the report that will be disclosed this year will just place cyber attacks above water scarcity. So that is considered to be one of the worst possible threats for humanity. Not for that. Also very important in terms of the tracking. So the other day, out of curiosity, I logged in into the website of an insurance company and because when they wanted to estimate the value of, uh, you know, uh, they started to ask me questions. Are you single? Are you married? How much, how often do you use your car? I was just looking for a home insurance and I just got like in, uh, very much surprised, you know, they are just tracking you, they are profiling me, 
uh, about the type of person that I am, how much uh, risks I take or I don't take. Okay, so all an insurance company has that information. Imagine an intelligence agency. This is one of the websites I love the most. Around the Barclays Center, I don't know where your cat lives. This is a super interesting website. Many people uploading cats' pictures. Like, like David says, these uh, pictures are tagged and labeled with the latitude and longitude. Around us, there are 17 unaware cat lovers who have loaded their cards' pictures, totally geolocated. People unaware that they are giving away so much information. You can find these kind of pictures reflecting that Mali love. Can you think a mother, father, um, can stop to think before uploading this picture on the internet? Let's reflect on that. Let's mull this over. There's no other path than making human beings, not only hackers and technicians, human beings have to be responsible for their own security and cyber security. Let's just stop people uploading this picture on the internet without knowing what they're doing. Where did this picture come from? There, I, I send a message to this person, please delete it, remove it. This is not one of the worst. There are other people pictures with um, students aged 10, 6 years old, geolocated houses around the Barclays Center. Oh, be careful about this. We are not going to change it being in the dungeon. We need to diffuse this message and widespread it mainstream to other human beings. A big button in cybersecurity. Wolfram Alpha is um, uh, uh, Brass is looking into the semantic internet. I'm writing down, I'm talking with the computer. I want to buy a car. I want to. Uh, is it the same that applies when you're communicating with the city? Alpha, Alpha, what's well, an Alpha? I want to buy a car. I'm living around this area. Let's imagine, let's evolve this into 10 years' time. And let's imagine that human beings have the very same tools that the good ones have. Instead of, I want to buy, I want to buy a 10 year old blonde, uh, blue eyed boy. I leave it there for you to reflect on that, to mull it over. My goodness. Wall Street Journal, which is a super conservative um, uh, win, um, and win a right newspaper publishes things that new calm guys, new conservatives, uh, unleash this kind of um, articles. It seems like they have some moral premise and as they're using the car registration numbers through their cameras to help us improve the traffic in our lives, to keep track on every human being and citizens in their cities. Tracking is one of the worst ever possible infections you are going to confront during your uh, connected life. Oh, and let's imagine what they can do. Another new structural article they experience when we uh, get into some storage with an Apple uh, computer, they restructure their offers and offer the, the, the high expense offers because they took for granted that somebody having an Apple have a, a, a bigger purchase power compared. So um, Apple consumers um, spend their money largely. Options for everybody. I have their opinions for everybody. I have my own opinion about, about this. You got the structured offers through a window uh, uh, machine are this distractor compared to those when you are getting into an Apple uh, team. Don't think only about the cyber threats, the wicked and the cyber terrorists. You are losing and wasting money the moment you are getting into a store online. They're showing you offers that are not like this. Black Friday is a con. Uh, they restructure their offers that are not this big expensive be careful about be responsible about your own cyber security cyber programmers cannot take care of you be responsible for your own cyber security this is the richest level getting hitting very hard as we can see on stream uh, he pasted on twitter um, they created a literal software injected on the browser that makes massive analysis. There are so many like this. This web is super interesting. I've been phone and hacked. You can type in your email address. It's one of I usually use. They hacked my Adobe account.
Reflect on that. Everything, everything on the internet, having your user and password, and inside it, it has com compromising privacy information from your cell, can be uh, hacked. It can, you can check it out on this um, website. Have I been born? I appeared on so many database in, um, inventorialized from many uh, people. Check out all your email accounts systematically, and especially your children's email accounts, because you think your children you only have one single email account that you are supposed to have created, but my, our children on average have among the two to the six um, accounts, email accounts. The, my uh, talk stem from the fact of open talking about open stack. David, please send me the, the the front page of your talk because I don't want to get into the professional area. I want to go into the family issues. Please um, go through about the open stack operational security areas mentioned by um, uh, David. We usually share a lot, a lot of encrypted uh, messages with people with the PGP where they sign up the signature of the people signing after the PGP blog. They email so far. There are certain groups of people using the very same um, uh, tool and version. With, only by checking the tool for PTP, they can release a graph, as I showed you before, chaining, chaining and linking all these people because they are related using the tool and um, release and version. I leave it there for your consideration. Regarding exploits, uh, this was released this week. Uh, there are so many markers like this, but it's so funny because it seems like the periodical table of elements. It's a company buying exploits with the fees repaying off their uh, remote executable local, allowing you to get on the virtual machine, Flash or Jabba, and you can, there are costs of up to fight a hundred thousand uh, uh, dollars. We human beings, people tend to think that um, either cannot be hack or somebody has secures, secures it and nobody is interested in this and this is our two big three big lies everything can be hacked all doors open all can be open through illegitimate media and medium we all have interesting things and security measures are not enough to cope with them uh, keep this uh, idea into consideration my goodness we are zero d and there became famous famously all of a sudden this is a tool for those who had come for the family day. With this tool, I can check out for connected devices on the internet, giving us their version and the name of the device, and knowing their IP. If I want to, if I want to attack somebody, and I can, I can check the device with the IP. I start started looking for a Schneider Electric of uh, manufacturing uh, critical infrastructure actuator. If I knew that I can get all the data from the version I have, or I might have some vulnerability to be expl exploited, Let's, let me go back to the fact that somebody can buy <coughs> sell uh, express. Now, if somebody can buy it, somebody finds a vulnerability in our technology, a smart reading, in, in, um, in smart um, a counter in your house. Think of what you can have. Schneider Electric websites, I take off my hat because they are super cool people. All the vulnerabilities of their products are here. This is a good thing. These guys have been responsible for their problem and they are publishing the vulnerabilities on their websites. I take off my hat. Chapeau, chapeau. I will take them as a bad example, but it's a good example of good things. They score an A there. What happens with your credit cards? You got some McAfee published a very interesting report regarding pricing and lease, how much a credit card costs, much and less. It's very interesting because you can find so many things, credit cards, clinical records, users and passwords, everything is there. They can buy identities in Silk Road. I downloaded the software to generate a false passport and out of pure curiosity, I noticed. I double check and I, I, I bought a false would you Ukrainian passport, I can't believe it. Uh, somebody has has sold me. My name is Mikhail Rabinovich. Fucking awesome. Fucking awesome. It's tremendous. Uh, we are surrounded by a, a fabulous world. So you can access sessions with different types. Everything is on my cafe report. It's super interesting. 
how can it uh, hack smart TVs, hacking, surveilling, and deceiving victims on smart TV be, be made by uh, Korean people. So smart TVs are hacked. You attack their TV, you record them with their camera. So I usually get naked in front of the TV. So why am I going to do so? This is very interesting. How can I steal trade cards from their users? The simple way to forward an alarming new tool to steal your ATM code. Every time you touch and you make a code, you, you, you have a hot finger who hits that key and they can uh, learn the, the, the pin by reversing the hot key. The, the, the biggest one you touch uh, is, is colder and the last one is hotter. By reversing the, 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 the temperature of the, you can know it, they put a telephone to a uh, phone, a car cast, and how people um, uh, touch the, 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 the bottom and the pressure and temperature. Then um, with the um, NCC reader, you touch somebody, the, his ass, and you can take, um, by comparisons, people's data from the credit card. Somebody is behind, um, recording her from behind. So I can get closer to their handbag and touch their um, car. It's super trivial. Your, your pin can be stolen with this kind of um, uh, devices, false keyboards on the real keyboard with camera, uh, recording how you are t t typing in. There are so many protection mechanisms. Obviously, uh, companies are offering you services, the power power of the cloud. You have a rock box with um, 50 gigs. Um, when you register with my Samsung telephone, I get uh, 50 gigs. So both Samsung and Dropbox know who I am, talk each other. They send over data in between. You cannot do the ostrich strategy. Cybersecurity issues are not going to disappear for the fact that you are putting your head into the sand. If you put it, the the head into the sun, you're going to get biggest words, uh, cybersecurity, because you are responsible for that. Everything that concerns you in cybersecurity is you. You are the responsible, both families and professionals. And when you have children, you are responsible for what uh, it's happening to your children. You may not need to make sure that your children don't be ostriches, because it's a big issue. This kind of things, I'm fascinated about that. The point is that the primates and apes do not take into consideration rigs, and this is genetically and evolutionally uh, verified. We primates, apes, monkeys do not uh, take uh, value, do not take rigs into value. We only consider imminent rigs. These people taking pictures there where you can read a sign, do not enter, end up in this situation, falling off the cliff and they get that because primates and apes do, do not take rigs into consideration. Reflect on that, mull it over. Whenever you are going to <coughs> take a rigs decision in your life, <coughs> think twice. Professionals do things very bad. We professionals do bad. We spend uh, a lot of money by putting uh, links. Uh, in this way, they get rusty. Somebody from an organization gets their um, links, uh, these, uh, these um, links with um, uh, a kind of cuff. Uh, oh, uh, translate, be, people are alienated with uh, the business. We need to say no to irresponsible people. If somebody is doing things mm, wrongly, say them no. We have to work on um, big buttons, cybersecurity. Cybersecurity of doing things on a, on a black console. No, no, no. Let's create a cybersecurity tool that every human being can use with a guarantee. One of the, the two to create revolution was that Windows, you can have a, a cipher and encrypted disk. Let's help society have a stenography a tools for the uh, intelligence agencies not to um, watching you. You need privacy, intimate. If I were gay, I would be here sticking around and hitting with the sticks people it's not true that uh, terrorists make the most of uh, pri privacy this is not true let's create human based tools I want to sum up in a positive way I have my life is connected on the internet I uh, classified DNS I have communicated myself on an electronic view I am a maniac about technology I love it don't think that I'm I'm sending you um, a terrifying discourse no no be responsible be responsible about your own cyber security and security that's the main thing technology leads you to innovation innovation is critical this Finnish people 
uh, we, uh, Naqsh, invented in the Neolithic, about around 30,000 years ago, nobody thought about improving Naqsh. They improved this with, because there's always room for innovation, for personal something. Cyber security, you have to innovate, work, uh, do it with a big button, uh, tools um, spread around all, uh, around all the society for citizens use them against antagonism. They have a lot of budget and they can, they, they are supposed to be good. Uh, show uh, your channel what Vegeta77 is uh, are, are doing. Useful video tube uh, videos. Your channel can create fabulous things on internet. Internet. Instead of being a, a passion and hobby can be a word. Let's do it in a secure way. Oh, I, I, this is fucking crazy. When somebody, when a smoke seller sells, tells you, no, nothing's happened. Some time ago, they hacked Google accounts. And a responsible from the person responsible from Google said to us, "Oh, this is nothing important because it's only two percent hack accounts on Google." But they, they didn't give you any context. Two percent Google accounts had, but you started calculating out the five thousand. And uh, five, five um, million password um, accounts had um, 100,000 people with an email hack on a database, and somebody said two percent is not too much. This is absolutely irresponsible. Any responsible people has have to be punished. I demand from you, I urge you, citizens, to punish res people uh, responsible for these mistakes. Report this to the police, identify bad practices. Um, Google does that, that's a good thing with the cyber security issue, but the, 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 the bad people, the wicked, have to be punished. And my daughter's security can be compromised as well. You need to uh, generate a um, security routine. It's a discipline. As you lock your house door when you leave your place, follow a pattern of cyber securities on the internet. People are very, very, very ready to take out your money from you. They want to s steal you because power, money, no, you, you, everybody wants um, domain, domination and control. Criminals want to squeeze you and milk the cows. So uh, let's make a society with uh, accessible ed ed education and cyber security. If we stick to the technician, this part will be paralyzed and all the demagogue, demagogue use the demagogization, the good and the bad, citizens against government, things are not like this. Polarization is an instrument of manipulation. Don't let yourself be sit by um, polarized people. Family recommendations. Go through the chart on the credit accounts. And thank you. Thank you very much for your time and your attention. Tenéis preguntas? Should you have any questions, please raise your hands. Thank you. Hola, Roman. ¿Qué tal, Manolo? Me encantan tu... Roman, thank you for your realistic paranoias. I share your realistic paranoias, Roman. The point is, it, it, it's, it makes some trouble assimilating and, and accepting for the common everyday citizens that there are so many dangerous things in life. I would like to ask you, about something that uh, I've been uh, aware of uh, this a, a smart grid. A smart, we're giving a lot of relevance to the fact as how we are be profiled by Google and, and Facebook with the smart grids. Uh, and, and this applies to the electric uh, companies as well. This threat is going to be um, uh, not noticed because we are giving a lot of relevance through the uh, based uh, internet-based profiles instead of giving this to the smart grid. And our appliances at home can be can be serially uh, introduced with threats. Like I said before, a smart grid is, is a very powerful tool to improve your energy consumption. But if I go uh, on a party and I date somebody and this person uh, takes a shower with me but, and duplicates the consumption at my place, the one who is uh, managing my smart grid is going to know that I have showered somebody. 
automatically this goes to all the spionage uh, cyber agencies and I know and they know how I was with my credit card a real case something more mundane than this market I buy a train ticket on the national railway company I usually buy one day um, to trip uh, ticket I go to Saragossa station go upstairs and the uh, police agent tell me can you please show me your documentation I usually have a bad reaction when somebody has stopped me with no reason no no please tell me the reasonable um, cause you are you are stopping me and I'll show you my documentation when I want to it's because those working on one single day you know and my valve my brain started to work in but how is this please agent uh, knows that I'm um, wait, going back and forth from Madrid to Saragossa on the very same day. How did he know it? Rationalize what is happening. You need to uh, know, as uh, Manolo says, your smart grid information is going to affect your life. Somebody can know you had visit in your house because there is a elected consumption peak. Your habits when it's your uh, son's birthday, of course. More questions, please. Hello, Roman. Congratulations for your fabulous talk. I do know what you do as Roman, where you work, where you move around. I I, I take a list of an um, email list, but where where is the the underground sector you mentioned, where's the DBS people, underground giving talks, um, they, they may be here. Um, please tell me about it. Uh, a long time ago, I'm not doing anything underground at all. One of the reflections I did in my life, the only way for somebody to deactivate as a protest element is to go into all my secrets. So I took the hearing and informed um, decision of not having any secrets. I publish myself. I tell everything in public. So uh, there is a lot of talented underground people in Spain that have a, um, terrible um, arguments because we don't agree on um, grassroots um, points, but this underground has to exist. Activi activism activism has to exist. The same way uh, doctors and companies have to exist because all of these uh, form part of the community of the, no, I correct myself, the ecosystem. They are part of the ecosystem. Here we go. Here we go. Underground exists. There are very good people in the underground. In, in Spain, we have so many talented underground people. Uh, are we doing good on time? Hello. A question for you. I cannot, I cannot see you. Oh, over there. It turns out that uh, the bank charged me two euros for doing transactions. Uh, my bank has signed um, an agreement with the ministry for me to get free transaction, and I'm now uh, doing transaction over internet. Uh, now transaction uh, cost me uh, nine euros. Trade unions have signed with the ministry. That is to say, there are there are people who are getting close of the precipice of the cliff for us to make mistakes, and the money uh, goes flying around with all this because it's very insecure and unsafe going into the internet. If I don't want, I don't want to. Secondly, there is any way of isolate the credit card physically when you are um, having it uh, on your on your body. First question, first answer. Don't take the idea that the internet is unsecure. Uns internet is as the street, as outside. Everything is insecure if you follow bad habits. If you verify your uh, account every day, and you, you're going to have a um, a reasonable level of security as everybody if you don't do so um, shame on you in 10 years time being not fact on the internet would be a symptom of functional illiteracy you have to be connected because all the world is connected you 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 can you can you you cannot do no, nothing with the internet. You cannot be living in the, the valley, in the mountains, in a hut. Only by uh, the holes you are living on the internet, you may be discovered. You, we know who you are. Learned 
to lead with this and learn how to manage your security. They are selling um, wallet and special credit card readers. Okay, there are wallets that allow you not to be discovered the credit card combination after the tax conducted tip type Sevoyeta. Here on your right, my question is oriented to, uh, to this area, the big re big data recollection, open source. Oh, what role is open source um, playing in, in, in this thing? I didn't hear about open 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 source uh, as a tool to fight against uh, cyber criminals. Regarding myself, I didn't mention any specific uh, uh, tools. Open source is a pure innovation. It, um, youngsters, professionals, others giving away tools available is marvelous. Especially big data, Hadoop, Spar, Storm. We have mm, a lot of good tools to create big data. Open source helps society and is here. I also refer to, besides the, the technical side, and regarding uh, social networking based uh, on open source be, behind um, rights on files, CNU social, an alternative to Facebook in very aware of people interested in privacy. I don't like those initiatives because I understand that people feel the necessity of being out of place at the very end. I had this conversation with a police agent giving a, a talk to a school and the police agent recommended the children that they should go to children's base. So don't do this fucking crazy thing because if I were a fisher, I went to get fish where they are fish so and you are so is to invoke the the, the thunder and the, the lightning i prefer being not noticed in an, in the in the open this is my particular opinion oh go for you go for you as you, as you want to, to post it uh, if you don't want to be in the the polls at facebook is your point not mine thank you very much roman for your nice presentation a big round of applause for roman there were so many other questions, so you can be uh, asked these questions uh, out of the stage. So.